In the last video, we showed you how to use some of the basic tools in Leonardo AI's image generator. But in today's video, we're gonna break down the prompt structure. We're gonna show you how to write a prompt to get a really effective result using Leonardo AI's image generation and also a few tools along the way. So let's get into it. So when you log into Leonardo AI's image generator, there's a section there for you to write your prompt. And some things you would probably be best to include in your prompt are the following. The subject, so the actual subject matter of your image. In this example, it could be something like a grumpy old man. The medium, so the type of medium that your artwork is on. So it could be something like oil painting. And then the style, so the style of the artwork could be anything, could be something that's abstract, or another good example is realism. Composition, so obviously how the image is laid out, how the elements in the artwork are organized and presented. And one suggestion for that could be a seated pose, slightly off center with a focus on facial expression. And then color and lighting, choosing which colors you wanna use in the image and how the scene of your image is lit. So a good example for this is natural, muted colors with soft ambient lighting. So here's an example of a prompt. Realistic oil painting of a grumpy man in a seated pose, slightly off center, focusing on facial expressions with natural muted colors and soft ambient lighting. So if you look at this prompt, you can see where we've included our subject with the grumpy old man, our medium, also the style and the composition and color and lighting from our example. So let's zoom back out and submit that prompt to see what results we get. As you can see, our image has come back. It looks like a grumpy man. He has that oil paint painting style with a sense of realism to how it's composed. It's seated. It is slightly off center with a focus on his facial expression. And it does have that muted color with soft ambient lighting. So that's one way to control basically the layout, the subject, the lighting, the colors, put all that into your prompt and you can control the output to a certain degree while Leonardo takes over with its AI engine and creativity to produce something like this. Now, I do recommend using commas to break up your prompt. Even moving commas can actually have an impact on how the image turns out. But I wanna show you just how powerful prompting can be when you change a few words around. If I take natural muted colors and I change it to vibrant colors and show you what we get with that, I hit generate. And now you can see the difference of how much color has been introduced into these two images. But again, let's go up the top here and show you a little bit more. Let's take soft ambient lighting and put in neon lighting. And you can see how the scene has been altered to sort of fit those neon lights in. And it's just really powerful when you can continue to play and alter one word at a time. So you can have a lot of fun experimenting with these little changes. Some common mistakes to avoid, for example, is you wanna make sure you don't have a lack of order. Make sure you put the most prioritized words of your prompt towards the start as the words at the start of the prompt are generally prioritized more than the words at the end. And also you wanna make sure you don't have too many conflicting phrases in there. For example, you won't wanna put full body and close up because those two are simply two completely different things and can produce some undesired results. Also, don't be too vague, although you can sort of leave it up to Leonardo AI to be a bit more creative. But if you're looking for a very specific result, be as accurate and detailed in your description as you can be. Now I also have some tips and hacks. One is to use an artist's name in your prompt if you really find an artist with a particular style that you wanna mimic. Another tip is to expand your vocabulary around imagery, art, and photography. One thing you can do to do that is head to the community feed, see what people have created. When you find an effect that you like, click on that image and you can see the words they've used. And you can actually start to experiment with those and better understand the words you're using in your prompts. And if you wanna take a little bit more control, there's things you can remove from your prompt as well. So for example, if we have a beard here that we don't want, I can add a negative prompt, type in the word beard, generate, and you get an image just like this where the subject is much the same, except he does not have a beard. The next one is to make sure you pick the right model for the style you're after. Don't forget to check out Leonardo's fine tune models in here or under select other model. If you find a model that actually matches the style you're after, that's gonna help you get a better result also. When using Alchemy, don't forget to check out this style dropdown over here for anime, cinematic, and choose which option you think also best suits what you're after. And then also consider exploring elements, which you can add on top of your model to get a better result and a more stylized result again. So using the right model that matches your prompt style is definitely gonna help you get better image results. But there is another cool feature I wanna show you as well while we're here, and that is 
the I am feeling lucky button. If I click on this little button with a dice on it, I have two options. I can improve my prompt or create a new random prompt. I'm gonna click improve prompt and it will write me a new prompt that I can use. So if I hit generate and it's taken my original prompt, looked at the elements of it and improved it to get a more precise result. The other thing you can do is come back up to the I'm feeling lucky button and just simply type in a new random prompt. And this will completely disregard the prompt and create something that's completely random. So we've got this completely different prompt here and for a bit of fun, we can generate that. We get this completely new image from our prompt. It's a random prompt. And of course we can also review that to see if there's any phrases or words that we'd like to experiment with in the future. So today we've learned how to create a better prompt structure for more effective prompts and creating the images on the screen right now using that structure. And we've also played with the I'm feeling lucky button. So that way you can actually have a play, you can randomize or improve your prompts and get some inspiration or ideas for experimenting in the future using Leonardo AI. So next up, we're gonna be looking beyond the basics. So you can take your Leonardo AI imagery to the next level and go even further with AI image generation. So don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord community. And also we have some more advanced guides on prompt structure if you wanna dig a bit deeper. There's links to those in the description below. Otherwise, we'll see you again next time and thanks for watching the video.